That's it. You could know. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Okay, that's good info, I guess. Not over the Let's though. see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Ah, new no. boxes, a lot of boxes, and just. <laughs> Do I get back? Fair. What the hell? I have to kill myself. That's lame. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Frick off! Oh, wow. Well. I wonder if she realized that I don't care about it. Sorry, I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Glados. My name is Glados. Uh, okay, one last test. Guilty here. consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. 
Anyway, just an interesting science fact. So creepy, GLaDOS. Kill life. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. She's probably gonna do the same thing. Oh, it's Companion Cube! Oh, no. I can't that one too. Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. on it. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill and its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Dude, I'm taking companion Preservation of mass. Break the rules in test chamber setting. Yes, that is right. I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I wanted to bring him. Companion Cube! Ooh, what is this? Carrots? This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Laser. Oh no. Uh. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Where did that 
door is open for life. Wheatley is an idiot. I could have skipped this whole thing, been on an escape pod. Went to freaking Gordon Freeman, because apparently this was the exact same time. Oh my God. Okay guys, we're gonna leave at chapter three, the return. And uh I'm gonna go put these up on YouTube, so thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'm just kidding. Have a nice day. Ah, uh, but anyways, have a good day. Well, night, basically. That's what I'm at. Anyway, see ya.